Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with our Bootstrap basics here today. We've been building this site and uh, we've done a slider and a little welcome section and a footer. We've also added some social media icons using Font Awesome. Well today, let's add another page. I think I'm going to jig this menu around a bit so we've got home about pricing service and we'll put features over here and we'll have about us over here okay well let's get started here's our folder where we first created our website and we created our custom index page index.html so today we're going to create a new page what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this I'm going to select it hit control C to copy or command C if you're on a Mac and then control V to paste and it gives us a copy so let's rename this page and we'll call it about now if your computer is set uh, let's try and spell that right if your computer is set to show file types so if it says .html after this make sure you keep that .html because it wants to be about .html mine is not set to show known file types so it doesn't show HTML after that so I can just change it without worrying but uh, if it does show the file type which is HTML make sure you keep it as the same file type okay now we've copied it let's open it with our brackets software Now, brackets is a free text editor if you don't have one you can download it from a link below this video like I say it's free and it's got some great features but if you do have a text editor you can follow along just fine with it okay first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name to about us and again for some reason not putting a B in my about here okay and let's go down what we want to do is I'm going to, this is our slider here or our carousel if you highlight the opening div of the section it'll highlight the closing div for you I'm going to just take all that and get rid of it don't need a slider on this page I'll leave that little paragraph text just so we've got something there and of course I'll leave the footer okay let's say that control s now let's open it up in our browser by double clicking on it and see what we've got there we go so there's not a whole lot there but we've got our footer we've got our header our menu is actually there but it's white at the moment so we can't see it and we left that little bit of paragraph text there now when we originally built this site we did build a white nav bar with some blue icons here and we called it my nav and then we built our slider and decided to change our background to transparent and have some white legending there that's why you can't see this the white on white here so let's open up our page like I say with our brackets we've got to open here and change this back what we did we gave our new nav bar a class of TRN for transparent if we look at that with a custom CSS there it is TRN background transparent and our one before was called my nav with a white background so let's change the TRN back to my nav for this one and here it is there's the TRN put the old class back in with the white background and also let's save that control s if we look at our custom css we'll look at the my nav the links on it my nav a the links anchor tags they're going to be blue so that should now change that back to we should be able to see our menu here if i refresh there we go it's changed it back to that blue color we had with that hover effect which is just what we want there 
Okay, like I said just now, I'm going to change around a couple of these menu items here. I'm going to flip the features for the About Us over here. And of course, we'll have to do it on both pages. So let's do that. Here's our index page. And our features, I'm going to cut that out. Control X. I'm going to put About Us. I think About's fine, isn't it? Don't really need the us on the end. And where it says about us over here, I'm going to change that to features. Now we've got no links to these yet because that page doesn't actually exist. However, however, our about page does exist now, and we know that it's got a name of about.html. So let's link our about page to the correct page. dot html and it's found it because it's it's seen it there in the folder now our home page let's put it correct as well it's the index dot html if we look at our site here index dot html remember i've got not got my file type showing but you've got to put the dot html because it's an html file over there so let's put this in to our home page and again it'll find it there it is index or HTML so now these will link to the correct pages what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy our new structure in fact, let's take the whole nav bar right here and I'll just paste this over to our new page the whole div there we go so we've got those linked in the correct places now let's save that control s save our index html as well control s to save that one let's go back to our site and refresh there we go we've now got our about there and as you can see it hovers over it's got our hover but if we go to our home page, this should take us to the home page again. Notice on the home page we've got that line underneath that indicates what page you're actually on. And there's our features over here now. We need to make that happen for our about page. So let's go back to our brackets, to our about page. Now the reason that line is happening is because we have the class of active don't need H active, I just need regular active. H active, if we look at our CSS, is we created for the white navbar items on the transparent. Let's have a look here. Okay, there's H active, active, border bottom, white. So we created that for the transparent one, so it stand out there. This is not the transparent one, this is a regular one, so we want that border to have a class of active rather than active. So let's correct that. And uh, it's in our about, and it's the nav item. So I'm gonna take that away from the home because we're not on the home page anymore. We're on the about page. So after the nav item there, I'm gonna add the class of active. Save that, control S back to the site refresh there we are now our page has got a line under it indicating what page we're on so that's it we created our new about page and we're ready to start filling it with content that's how easy it is to add a new page and if we go back we've got our old menu structure with the light menu itself and back on this page we got the white background with the blue legending and our buttons and everything are working fine over there. So there you have it. That's how to add a new page to your Bootstrap 4 website. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. 
Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.